Lily's had some substantial buffs in the recent uh, balance update so let's have a look at how to punish Lily okay, first move is a rage art you can sidestep this to the left as soon as she puts her hand to her chin start sidestepping just like so leave her rage drive alone it looks like you can duck the high but trust me I've tried and you can't so leave this alone it's safe Move number three, you can either low parry it on the third hit or block it the third hit and then do twin pistons. So it should look something like that. Move number four can be sidestepped in either direction after the second hit. Sunrise Sunset can either be low parried or block and twin pistons. Up to you. I'd go for twin pistons. This move, duck the high and punish with whilst rising too. Peacock Waltz is a back one too, uh, which will give you opportunity to do some sort of mix up afterwards. Twin Pistons this Duck after the second hit Then whilst rising 2 Back 1, 2 Mars Sword Leaves them minus 15 Which means You can electric launch it And do a full combo If you're not fast enough You can do down forward 1 plus 2 And do a combo that way around but if you want to improve on your electrics, you've got to punish this with a, an electric. There's not much you can do about circle knee, so leave this alone. Move number 13 needs to be left alone. Not much you can do about kitty claw, so leave it alone. There's not much you can do about sundial, leave it alone. Move number 16, after the first hit, use magic 4 and follow it up with the combo. Move number 17 is like the previous one, use magic 4 after the first hit and follow up with combo. Move number 18 is 112. Move number 19 puts you in minus frame, so there's not much you can do here. Move number 20, you can either low parry the second hit or block it by pressing down and follow up with twin pistons. It's up to you. Move number 21 can be sidestepped in either direction after the first hit. Move number 22, block the low, and then remain staying down and punish with whilst rising too. You should get a count on hit and you can follow up with the combo. Move 23 has got two highs towards the end. So block them and punish with while rising too. Duck then. Has to be a duck, not a block. Move 24 allows you to practice your electrics, so don't hesitate and practice your electrics. Move 25 can be low parried or whilst rising 4 4. That's a low parry. Low parry again. Move number 26 is just 1 plus 2. Move 27 is practice electric. This is a high which can be ducked. This is a low which can be blocked and followed up with a combo. 
Move number 30 is another low, which can be punished with Wild Rising 2. Move number 31 is a setup, which is waiting for you to mash it. And if you do, you'll be punished, so leave it alone. Move 32 is 112 punishment. Not much you can do about 33. If you know something you can do, then let me know about it. 34 she's trying to set you up to mash in which case if you do you'll be punished and if you know a way of punishing this move then comment below let me know about it 35 is a back one two punishment move 36 is some sort of silly dance leave it move number 37 is another silly dance leave the silly woman well alone come out of this silly little move so this one is a low and block it and punish it with twin pistons so this comes out of a silly dance again just sidestep it and punish it move number 40 is ah back one two 41, she just wants to turn her back to you. And 42 is two highs towards the end, but there's not really. You can't do twin pistons, you can't do whilst rising 4 4, you can't do whilst rising 2, so um, just sidewalk it. And you can do this in any direction. This one is Duck the High whilst rising 2. 44 is a slap, there's no reply to it. If you know a way, comment below, let me know. 45, you need to interrupt after the second hit with the jab and do whatever damage you can. Not much you can do with move 46, because you're plus 10, she's minus 10, but because you're in the sort of crouch, you can't really hit her back. If you get a hard read on her, then obviously you can try sidestepping, but neither one of these will be recommended in this situation. Move 47 can either be sidestep, or 112, but you have to hold back. Block the low, block the mid, back one two. Straight block, whilst rising two, combo. Move 50 is her unblockable, uh, can be sidestepped in either direction. As soon as you hear her say, ah, sidestep and punish. 51 is safe fish. If you know how to punish it, then let me know in the comment section. Move 52 is back one two. 53 can be sidestep in either direction, but if you want to combo off it, sidestep it to the right. Move 54 is a sidestep in either direction after the first hit. Sidestep in any direction and combo. Move 57 is a back one two. Sidestep right and combo. Duck and whilst rising to punishment. Combo city. 61 is straight up combo. Move 62 is a trap, leave it alone unless you know better, in which case put your comment in the box below. Sidewalk right and punish. Root of Evil is low parry combo or whilst rising 4 4.
65 you have to hold back to block it I'd leave it alone but if you know how to punish it leave a comment in the comment section if she starts this launcher it's not gonna unblock side step left do glide is a trap leave it alone move 69 is back one two Move 70 is back one two. Move 71, if you have a read and you know she's going to do this, you can stay down and do any of the whilst rising punishments. If you don't know she's going to do this, then it's safe, leave it alone. Move 72 can be sidestepped in either direction. This move you can either low parry the final hit or use twin pistons. Bomb 1 2. Move 75 after the first hit connects, do back 4 and follow up with a combo. Sidestep. Low parry or whilst rising too. Move 78 needs to be left alone unless you know better in which case drop a comment. Move 79 you can either power crush it so as soon as you see her do a sidestep power crush or sidestep and punish with down forward 1 plus 2. The first throw, which is move number 83, can be broken by mashing 1 or 2. It's entirely up to you. That's 1. And that's 2. The second throw, move number 84, this can also be broken by either 1 or 2. 1, 2. Her third throw, which is move number 85, this can also be broken by pressing in either 1 or 2. Move 86 can also be broken by either mashing 1 or 2. That's 1, that's 2. Raphaelicia has to be broken by 1 plus 2. Well there you have it, that's the Lily Punishment Guide, I hope you enjoyed it. For some of the different characters have a look around on this channel and you should find more guides.